Hi, it's Mike Evans from Me Smart PR, the Terror Punchline magazine. Welcome to Punchline Talks. Today I'm joined by Steve Hodge. Hi, Steve. Hi, Mark. Obviously, you're from Viserian as well. Steve, can you tell us your role within the company, please, and this new lubrication project that you're bringing out? Yeah, sure. My name's Steve Hodge. I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Viserian. I'm based over in Cambridge, uh, but travelling to Gloucestershire uh, almost monthly now. Um, so what we've done recently is taken our product Nanin, which is verified uh, by the Graphene Council in the US. It's one of the only verified graphene products on the market. And we've actually been putting it into, uh, with our customers, some lubricants. So what, what our customer Silka in the US have done, added graphene to their lubricant and made it incredibly uh, better. So it's lasting longer. So cyclists can now go up to about 800 kilometers without changing the lubricant and also it's, it's improving and, and that, that, that power efficiency so cyclists can, can get further and faster. Um, is it just cycling or is it all sorts of uh, I think at the moment Silco on? is, is predominantly a, a cyclist uh, product um, but yes there's a whole host of other applications where you know we use lubricants on a daily basis in, in engines, in, in factory machinery so graphene can play a key role in improving uh, the lubrication properties, but also the thermal properties of these lubricants, so that, you know, things are longer lasting, they need less maintenance and servicing. So, um, And will it be going out to the wider market as well? Um, yeah, I mean, we've got a number of projects on the go with different customers, so this first one is obviously with, with cycling uh, lubricants, um, but yes, we, we've got further uh, projects in the pipeline, so we're aiming to do all sorts of automotive, aerospace and uh, other factory machinery lubricants. And how much do you think it will be worth to the company? No idea. Uh, it, it's you know it, it's a high value product, so um, most likely it's going to be taken up by some of the big cycling teams. Uh, but we're looking to put lubricants into kind of general uh, automotive uh, lubricants and oils. So you know that's a huge volume market and uh, could could be very uh, lucrative for for this area. Okay. Thanks so much. Nice Thanks. to talk to you today. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Bye. Cheers.